Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Hi everybody, it's Jackie. Um, if you don't know me, I'm normally a daily vlogger and I just got back from a trip to Vegas for my sister slash best friend's wedding and um, we had kind of a crazy night at the bachelorette party so I wanted to do a story time about it. Um, my hair looks a little crazy by the way because after this I'm going to be recoloring it so I needed it to be like somewhat presentable for this, but like I don't want to do too much because I'm about to like color my hair. So anyway, let's get started. So um, for those of you who don't know, I went on a trip to Vegas for a wedding like I just said and um, the travel was fun and everything like that, but the night of the bachelorette party was a little bit wild for my taste, <laughs> but it was fun. It was just crazy. So. Um, my sister, she's not really my sister if that's confusing to you. She's my best friend since sixth grade, but we always call each other that. So, um, she wanted to do a party bus, which it, it's like a, it's like a group thing where everyone goes and pays a certain amount and then it's like a, it's a huge group of people and there's like five different party buses and they give you like alcohol on the bus and like it's just this like wild event and then they take you to three different nightclubs in Vegas. So um, we, <laughs> we, we first met up for dinner and then after dinner we as a group, it was um, the bride, me, her other bridesmaid and then two of her cousins. So it's five of us. So we went to dinner and then we walked around, got a little bit lost. Thank God I was wearing flats. Um, and then we found the bar that everyone meets up at. So we get signed in. You had to have tickets to get into it. So um, she showed our tickets and we got little like wristbands and had our IDs checked and all that. And then we went into the bar and um, they give you a ticket for like your first drink is like free or whatever, but I don't really drink. Um, I've had drinks here and there, but like I really don't like alcohol and like I'm just not a big drinker and even if I was, like that would not be the place to do it when I'm going to be out all night and need to be like in my right mind. So I was like, I gave my ticket to the bride and I was like, you get two, yay! <laughs> so they started drinking and there was like loud music in the bar and it was like, you know, all right and there were groups of guys around and it was funny because nobody was really dancing but like I can't help it like if there is like a good beat on I cannot not dance like at least casually like move a little bit right so I'm like the only one in my group that's like kind of dancing and there's a group of guys that I don't think they were involved in like the party bus thing but they were in the bar so they were like ordering lots of alcohol and like dancing around and like trying to have a good time and I could tell one of the guys in the group kept like eyeing me and I was like oh no this is not the way the night's gonna be but it was the way the night was gonna be so he kept like looking at me and like it was that awkward like I made contact with you oh my god look away like I don't want that like attention like no 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 um I don't want to give the wrong idea I guess is what I'm trying to say and then I saw him whisper something to who I'm assuming is his wingman you know his friend that's with him and then his wingman not so casually looked over at me and I'm like oh so great but luckily not too soon later our group was getting ready to leave to go to get on the buses so um they had these people with like a little light stick or whatever and I was like all right cool um so we start following them and then we get on a bus and there's like there's like poles on the bus like stripper poles and like um there's like seats everywhere like with cup holders and like everyone gets on the bus and then they start like serving like alcohol <laughs> like I think they were shots but it was like a full like cup full of what I think is a shot I'm not sure I don't know if they were mixed drinks but I was like oh my god <laughs> so they're all taking those drinks I'm like no thanks I'm good no thanks I'm good um and then the the, the ride was okay um I personally don't need any alcohol to get like wild and like you know like in the mood but obviously everyone else does because at this point everyone was pretty chill and like just kind of like starting to drink starting to get into the feel of things and I was like all right 
okay? And they're blasting music in the truck, and or in the truck, in the bus, and it's, like, dark, and there's, like, the flashing lights and whatever, and, like, I can't help it. Like, I know, like, every word to all of these songs. Like, I just can't help but, like, like love it, right? So... I'm kind of like bouncing around saying the words and it's cool. So when the way we're seated, I am on um, basically like a bench style seating with me and then the two cousins. And then on the other side is the bride, her bridesmaid, and then this random guy, right? This guy was the creepiest guy. And I'm not sure if he was with the group that was next to him or like he was literally by himself there alone just like hoping to make a connection somewhere because he was so creepy and he kept talking. The first time we were in the bus, he was sitting next to the bride. So he kept talking to her in her ear and like asking her questions about like where we're from and um, I could, obviously it was like really loud so I could only hear what was like telephoned back to me. But um, he was asking her like, inappropriate questions and like um, he wanted to know what our relationships were and who was single like how we knew each other who was single all that he asked her if there was anybody that she wanted it, that if she could hook up with anyone on the bus like who would it be like and he was like oh was that inappropriate she's like yeah like it was just really creepy it's kind of one of those things like I hate to say this but like if he was better looking it maybe wouldn't have come across so creepy but because he was like an older guy and like kind of creepy looking, when you ask stuff like that that's creepy, it's like even more creepy. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, he did that and I was like, okay, it was just weird. And then the madness ensues. So we arrive at the first club, we walk to the door, whatever. Um, we have to get in the line again to have our IDs checked again, which I guess... It was kind of confusing to me at first because I'm like, we just had our IDs checked and we have a bracelet. Like, you would assume that if everyone in this group has been already checked, why would we check again? But that's what the club wanted to do. I think it was One Bar, I think is the name of it, which I think was in the Mirage, but I'm not sure. Um, I know that it's a, like, pretty popular um, club and I guess... Um, what is her name? Something Rose. Amber Rose was supposed to be there that night, but I'm sure she came after we left because we would spend like an hour in each club or something like that. So um, I know it was like a popular club. I'm sure she came after we left. And um, anyway, so we're standing in line and we get up to us to be checked for IDs. And I have my ID out and I literally hand the guy my ID, smile and stick my hand out. Cause like, it's my ID. Like, it's me. I'm 26 years old. Like, we're good. I've already been checked once. Like, let's do it. Let's get in the club, right? So I do that, and he, like, starts looking it over, like, really hard with his flashlight and, like, inspecting it. And I'm like, oh, he's just playing with me. Like, whatever. Like, obviously, I don't look 21. Like, it's not fake. Whatever. So he keeps looking over it. And then and me and the other brides were like, oh, whatever. Like, he's just messing with me. Whatever. So I'm, like, totally cool about it. And then he, like, you know, they do that, like, secret service, like, pss, 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 in their little whatever, their little microphone, whatever the heck. So he does that, and I'm, like, okay, like, he's still just playing with me, right? Then he walks away with my ID, and I'm, like, what is he doing? Like, that's my ID, like, from the DMV, my legit license, like, what is the problem? So he goes over to um, other people who run the event and then the people who are like running the bus situation come over to me and they're like, hey, like, I don't know what's going on. They're training people. Maybe that's why. Like, they're being extra cautious. Um, and the whole time I'm like, why? Like, that's my ID. Like, that's my legit license. I don't understand what the problem is. And um, so they're like talking over there in the corner with my ID and then they call me over and I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, they're just going to give me my license back. So then he starts asking me questions. He's like, what year did you graduate high school? How old were you? What's your sign? Like, all of these questions. And I'm just like, pop, pop, pop with the answers. Like, because it's me. Like, right? So then he goes, do you have any other forms of identification? And I'm like, yeah. So I roll out, like, my wallet. And I'm like, this is my credit card with my name on it because it's me. This is another credit card with my name on it because it's me. This is, you know, another form of identification with my face and my name because it's me. Like, what is the actual problem? 
it's me. It's my license. Like, what is the problem? He's like, yeah, like the lines just aren't matching up. Like, it looks like a fake, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's not a fake. It's my license. Like, what's the problem? So after all that, they're finally like, okay, whatever. And he like stamps me and gives me my ID back. Then we stand in line because there's like a holding space because they're letting like so many people in at a time, I guess. So once they let the next group go, which would be me, the guy at the front of the line's like, can I see your ID? I'm like, we already did this. Like, are we really doing this again? Like, I, I will show it to you again. Would you like to be shown it again? So then we move to the next holding pattern. And I'm like, watch, they're going to like want to see my ID again. Like, what is the deal? Like, I don't even understand what the problem is. Um, cut back to before I went over to talk to the three guys who were holding my ID and I started getting questioned. The girl who ran the bus, she was saying like, because he was, you know, maybe new, they were doing this and that. She's like, worst case scenario, all they're going to do, if they think it's a fake, they're never going to take it from you. What they're going to do is take a picture of it if they think it's fake. And um, they'll give you your ID back and they might not let you in. And I'm like... It's my license. What's the problem? And then when I had gone over and started talking to the three guys and getting questioned, a different guy who ran the bus thing, like there was a team of people. He was super cool and sweet. He was actually the one who checked us in. He was like, it's all good. Like, don't worry about it. Like, it's cool. And I looked at him and I was like, don't leave me. Like, don't walk away from me right now. So he was pretty cool about it too. So anyway, we get to the second holding pattern and I'm like, they're gonna like want my, my license again. Like, what is the deal? Um, and supposedly it's because it's an Arizona license and I guess like Arizona was having an issue being like, like doing what you're supposed to do for license standards anyway like up until this last year they like weren't gonna do it I don't know it was just weird so anyway we get up to the next um one <laughs> and they're pretty cool about it like they're just like show me your stamp and then Lizzie stop it they're just like show me your stamp and then they let me in so cool I'm like whatever okay so we go in first thing we do is go to the bathroom because I always have to go potty and they're drinking so they want to go potty too so we do that and then we go out on the dance floor which is like I'm not even kidding sardine packed like there's so many people there's um outer edges that are like kind of um like lounge or VIP type areas but I don't think all of them are VIP I guess like a bottle service area where there's like seating and like a little bit of space um on the outer edges and then there's like a bar where you would like would walk through to get to the dance floor and the other places and then there's the center dance floor which is like I think it was like chained off or something like that and literally was packed so full of people and the girls are like yeah let's go in and I'm like okay so we go in and at first there's like no space I'm like I can't dance in this like I'm not dancing I'm just like like getting shoved into right so I like decide I'm gonna leave so I walk out and there's like not really any other place to go and the other three girls were in there the one didn't even want to come in the club at all she just stood outside the whole time um so I'm like I have to go back in there because like what are, what's my option right so I go back into the sardine squished dance floor and um start dancing with the girls and one of the guys who's on our bus, who, uh, he black and he likes dead ass, he comes over and, <laughs> and he's like, hey, like, you're on my bus, dance with me. And I was like, I can't, I'm married. And he was like, what? But it's my birthday, you're not going to dance with me? And I was like, I'm married. Like, no, because here's the thing. If you want to dance with me, that's fine. But if you want to grind on me, that's not fine and not going to happen. And I know that's what he was thinking. Like, no, that's not dancing. No. So he like took it pretty cool and like hung around. But then him and he had like two or three other friends they kept coming back over to our group and like I'm just feeling myself like singing the words dancing like doing me right and they kept coming back over and at one point <laughs> at one point all three of them had lined up behind me and were like trying to like grind and dance on me and I literally like did the turtle shell or like 
like, I'm like, no, because <laughs> at that point, like, what are you going to do? They're just, like, grinding on you, and the girls, like, scooped me into the circle, and I was like, oh, my God. Um, so they did that, and then they would, like, try and cut into, because we had kind of, like, a little circle going, dancing, right? They kept trying to cut in and, like, you know, like, bump their butts on us and whatever, and, like, I was kind of all right with that if they were in front, but, like, if they wanted to do that to me, like, no, thank you, no, I'm married, no, and, um, I had another guy come over who was within that group, and he was trying to dance with me, and he was like, he was like, hey, like, why don't you dance with me, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm married, and he's like, so? And I was like, uh, so I'm married, no thank you. Um, and then there was another guy, I don't think he was a part of the group, but he was near where we were dancing the whole time. Um, he tried to like grind on me, and I turned around like, uh, excuse me. He literally dead in the eyes looked at me and was like, you know I want that. And I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, you know I don't want that. Like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It was just crazy. So, we were only there for a little bit longer, and that just kept happening. Like, they kept coming over. Like, all the girls were like, what is happening? Like, why are they all coming over? And I'm like, I don't know. I think the majority of it was like, we were actually dancing, and everyone else was just kind of like, already paired up, or like, just like, like, moving rubbing on each other like I was actually trying to dance and like have a fun time so I think that was part of it I don't know I'm not really sure what it was but anyway it kept happening and then um we decided that we it was like almost time to go so the girls went over and got a drink and then um I got water which was hella expensive my girl got it for me thank you so much she was already buying drinks and she had won money so she was like I'll get it and I was like okay um so then we went back on the bus and this is when it like real got wild like because at this point people have been drinking for a while and whatever and um, they there aren't like I think you can pretty much go to whatever bus you want like they're not like you know you're on bus one make sure you get back on bus one like it wasn't like that we ended up getting back on the same one we were on and the majority of our bus people did but there were also extra people and this one girl who is particularly wasted who she was standing next to me at first and then I there was like enough space to fit another person especially since she was tiny at a certain point she like she was like hey can I sit next to you and she's in these like huge heels I'm like yeah girl like so I scoot over and she's sitting next to me and she proceeds to start hitting on me and rubbing on me and like she tried to put her legs on my legs like she was like really really friendly we'll just say that and um she was like trying to dance with me and I was like okay like okay and then um because we're on opposite sides of the bus I went to like tell something to the girl on the other side and when I sat back down she was like girl when you stood up I wanted to grab your hips so hard you look so sexy and I was like thank you <laughs> this is so uncomfortable like now I have girls sitting around me like cool so that keeps happening and then there's like uh, I really hate this part of the night there was like stripper poles on the bus and so the girls who worked for there she was like doing moves and stuff which is fine but then she wasn't really wearing much and the guys around her were like doing things and like I just really hated it so much like it bothered me so much I'm like oh but you're cool. Like, she wasn't undressing, but they were, like, trying to do it for her. Like, it was just horrible. I was like, ah, I hate it. I hate it. Like, respect yourself. What are you doing? So, anyway, that was happening. And then um, the promoter who was, um, who, like, I was like, don't leave me earlier when the ID situation was happening. He came by, and he was, like, getting shots for people. And he was, like, trying to, like, do dances with people and stuff. And at one point, he, like got in front of me and like tried to, you know, like the Chippendale stuff. They try and like rub your hands down their body and stuff. He tried to do that to me and I was like, no thank you. I was like, I'm married. And he was like, he was like, so whatever. And I was like, I'm married. And then he asked me, he's like, how long have you been married for? And I was like, two and a half years. He's like, oh, so you're still in good behavior. And I was like, no, I like love and respect my husband, so I don't want to do that. Like, what is wrong with you? So he ended up grinding on other girls. And then, hi, bird. Hi, little lady. 
You're beautiful. Um, so he went on and like grinded on other girls and stuff. And then the funniest thing is there was this one guy, the guy who was in the group earlier with the black guy and like, um, the ones who were like trying to get me to dance. And I was like, no, no, no. He came over while we're on the bus and whispered in my ear. And he was like, he was like, you know what? You're like the, the funnest one in this group. And you're like really having a good time. And I can tell like you need to get the other girls to like have a good time. Which like in his lingo means have a good time means like get them to like dance with me and stuff. You know what I mean? But I was like, uh, no. So, um, <laughs> it was just so weird. So he was asking me that. And then, um, so then, um, I think he was, I don't know if he was trying to get me to dance or something, but like that wasn't going to happen. So he was basically just trying to like sexualize us and I knew it. And so I was like, oh, two can play this game, sir. So there was one girl in the group who was not married, totally single. And I was like, she's single. Go give her a lap dance. Dance on her. And so I start like clapping at him like this, like to get him to like do it. And the whole bus starts clapping and I'm like, yeah, give her a lap dance. Do it. And he was so embarrassed and rightfully so. Like that's how you make us feel. What's wrong? with you so he was like no 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 like stop the clapping no no and he never did it and I knew he wouldn't because I mean I don't know if it wasn't the person he wanted to do it with or what but like the point is like you want to make us do that want to act like we're just like your show or something so you do it you get up there and dance like I was like mm-mm sir mm-mm so the second ride to the next club took so long and I'm not sure why. And because of that, by the time we got there, oh, I never told you guys. At the beginning, instead of drinking, because I knew I wasn't going to, um, I was like tired before we even started to go out. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get some coffee. So I got a double shot of espresso in a tall cup um, and <laughs> drank that. And I was like set for the day. I was like, let's do it. Like, <laughs> set. So... Um, by the time we got to the next club, like, they didn't even want to go in. They just, like, everyone started walking towards it, and they just, like, gave up. I don't know. So, they wanted to go home, and I was like, oh, okay. So, um, they wanted to go home, and I was like, all right. So, I called Quentin to come pick me up, and, um, he... They ended up, like, their Uber got there so fast, so they ended up leaving before he was even there, which I was really nervous about because now I've been being hit on all night. It's now, like, one-something in the morning. People are drunk. Like, uh, we when we were just walking through the hotel to get to the lobby where he would pick me up at, we had three different groups of guys, like, ask us where we were going or, like, hey, come hang out with us. Like, it was, it was, I was like... I don't want to be alone in here like this is scary <laughs> so I stayed on the phone with Quentin the entire time and I stayed right up where the taxi was where like the people are working and stuff and um, I figured it was like probably the safest spot and just like hung out there until Quentin got me which wasn't too long but it was it was long when you're standing there like oh my god I feel like any minute now someone's gonna like come up to me and say something or touch me or I don't know <clears throat> Mind you, if you guys don't know, I watch a lot of stuff on, like, um, like, really horrible things. Like, recently I've been reading a lot about different rape cases and college rape and, like, party stuff. So, <laughs> the whole night I was, like, stranger danger, like, trying to think in my head, like, don't do anything that's going to make someone, like, I know that I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to be a part of that. So, don't do anything that's going to make them further think. Like, make sure you're solid and you're shutting them down. And, like, make sure I'm, like, of a clear head and, like, all that. I was like, mm, -mm that ain't going to be me. Mm, mm And, like, obviously all those things don't always pan out. Like, things can happen regardless of your state of mind or what you said or didn't say. Like, things can still happen. But there are also things you can do to not lead somebody on or put yourself in a bad situation. So I was trying my best to like be smart about it. Um, but yeah, the whole night was crazy. Um, and that one creepy guy who was on the bus next to us, um, he made sure to get on our bus again and like tried to hit on all of us again and be like really creepy. 
And um, every time I made eye contact with him, I like immediately looked away. Like I can't help but when I make eye contact, smile at somebody. But unfortunately, people take that the wrong way a lot of times. So I would like smile, look away really quick. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, don't look at me anymore. <laughs> um, but he was across from me, so it was like really hard not to look at him. And I guess he had told when we were first on the bus, I think he had told the bride, he was like, yeah, you know the last club we go to, little Wayne's going to be there. <laughs> and we're like, okay, like, it's possible. He could be. I mean, like, Amber Rose was supposed to be at the first one, like, you know, whatever. And then um, I guess I didn't find out till later, but the Billboard Musical Awards were the next night, the night, no, two nights after on Sunday. We were doing this on a Friday. So the Billboard Music Awards, you know, we're going to bring in a lot of celebrities and stuff. So, I mean, it could be, but it was just so funny. Like, how do you know that? And, like, what are you talking about? Like, it was just weird. So that happened. But, yeah, um, Quinn eventually got me, and I went home. And the end of my Bachelorette Night video, um, I kind of give a closing to what happened a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it was it was so wild and crazy, and I don't think I would ever do it again because I'm a married woman, and that's not my show anyway. Um, I used to go to clubs when I was younger just to, like, dance. Like, I didn't drink back then either at all at all. So, um, I just find that when I'm in those environments, I'm very... I'm overly cautious because I know that it's not really a safe environment. And also, like, I don't want to grind on people. You know what I mean? Like, if it's, if it's my husband or something like that, then, then sure. But it's not. And these are, like, random guys just wanting to, like, feel you up. And I'm not down for that. Like, there was a certain point in the club where I saw, like, girls, like, full on... Like, they were, like, having sex with clothes on. Like, it was so nasty and so gross. And, like, I doubt that they knew the people they were doing it to. There was one girl who was in, like, a t-shirt. And she had, like, legit underwear on. But when she started dancing, obviously, the shirt got higher. So she was, like, legitimately grinding on somebody in her underwear. I'm like, what is happening here? I thought this was, like, a dance club. And, you know, everyone's adults and blah, blah, blah. And, like, I probably sound, like, really stupid for saying that. But I just, ah, oh, it's so gross to me. Like, what are you doing? Respect yourself. Why? If my lighting just changed, sorry. It's getting really flickery. But, yeah, that was just, um, that was the crazy wild night. I hope I'm not forgetting details. Because it was, like, there was so much that happened. Like, so much. It was really fun though. I mean, overall, it was fun because I was with them and obviously got a good story out of it. And uh, it was just, it was quite a night. Quite a night. Yeah. So thanks for listening to my story time. Subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, I make daily vlogs. So keep watching if you want to see the ins and outs of my life. And I love you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and were entertained. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.